Some people have shoe collections. I happen to have a candle collection. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my 2019 candle collection. I'm gonna show you all the candles that I have, where I store them, how I store them, and they're just like a bunch of different brands. Majority of them are Bath and Body Works, and I'll explain to you why. If you are not in the candle community, and yes, there is a candle community. If you are in the candle community and don't wanna hear this spiel, please fast forward if you want to or listen to the spiel. So the spiel is, for people who don't know, there's a candle community on YouTube and Instagram where majority of it is based on Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works plays this game with us, the people who love to buy candles. Candles from Bath and Body Works are pretty cheap. They come out with so many different scents every year, really cute packaging. But the game is, is that they will bring out scents and they won't ever come back. So they do that to people and people wanna like stock up on that fragrance because they love the smell, it brings back a certain memory. That's why I love home fragrance because I am such a nostalgic person and if something smells like something that evokes a memory, it just makes me so happy because there's sometimes nothing but a scent that can bring back that feeling again. Um, same with like eating certain foods. That's why you make things during Christmas time that remind you of when you're a child. So home fragrance to me is just super special. I just love burning candles. It's also just like a nice ritual where I come home, light my candle. I love the way it looks, the ambiance it gives. So I just, I personally love candles. So you're gonna look at this collection and you're gonna be like, holy, this girl has way too many candles. How much money did she spend? But listen, Listen, I, one, have had these candles for many years. I collect them. I, you know, stock up on certain scents that I feel like nervous about that Bath & Body Works won't bring back and it has happened to one of my favorite scents. So I'm so glad that I did that because it just breaks my heart. You just never know if they're gonna bring them back. And then for people who like really enjoy packaging and marketing the way I do, like I love the way they think of like different things to put on the labels. I just like am a sucker for that. I enjoy like waiting each season and seeing like what certain candles are gonna have the different labels. If you think I have a lot of candles, puh. Leave. You should go check out some of the other people. I mean, they have cabinets full of candles. I just stick to one shelf. I'm trying to just stick to one entire shelf, but yeah, it's just really fun. It's relaxing to watch these candle reviewers. People who don't have Bath & Body Works near them um, in different states, countries, they watch these candle reviewers in order to kind of determine what they want to order online because they can't walk into a store. And I just find it really relaxing. Like some people like ASMR and I like candle reviewers. I have taken all of my candles down from my shelf and I've lined them all up in front of me. And like, it's a lot. But it's actually not as much as I thought thought I had. That's for rambling. Now let me show you all the candles that I have collected and have been gifted throughout the many years. So I'm going to start with candles that aren't Bath and Body Works because I don't have that many of them and I'm not going to do the fragrance notes of each one because that would just take too long but this is a Yankee Candle Apple Pumpkin the first candle that I ever fell in love with and it made me feel like fall and Halloween time. Love this candle. Do not like this company anymore because the throw is not strong and they're extremely pricey. Village Candle you can find at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, they're pretty pretty good and I do like their like big labels. I don't care that much about the label. I like kind of sleek packaging but it's cute and I, I appreciate it. This is Pumpkin Donuts, not my favorite one so I will definitely be burning that and getting rid of it. This I absolutely love. I don't think they make this anymore and this is the Lavender Oud and it's so good. It's from Anthropology. and a lot of these candles you can depot the wax if you're finished with it and then reutilize the jars and I'm definitely going to do that for this. I'll probably put my makeup brushes in this. I just think it's so pretty. I just got this candle for Christmas and it's from Anthropology. I think this is the Capri Blue candle. Yes, it is. That says CB, right? Yep. Okay, so that's the Capri Blue candle, which smells so good. Then we have single wicks. Actually, I'm going to do the single wicks over here in a little bit. So this is a Alum Coconut Milk Mango. This was the second candle that I ever was like, oh wow, I need many, many candles of this one because I'm so afraid it will be gone. If you don't know what Alum is, you should go check out their website. They have a lot of great fragrances. I actually have a code with them and you can get 15% off and free shipping. So the code is is Kaylee D. This is so good. I, I'm obsessed with this one. This is absolutely my favorite, but the other fragrances are 
amazing and I definitely want to go and use my code and get some more because I realize I only have one left because I used my other one up when I went home. I brought it home. Then we have this Volu Spa, which is a very fancy schmancy company you can also get from Anthropology. Baltic Amber, this candle reminds me of my mom. Again, a lot of scents just, you know, bring back certain memories or they remind you of someone in your life and my mom always burns this candle so anytime I burn this, this reminds me of her. Then we have all my Witch City Wicks candles. I found out this company this year during Halloween time and I cannot express to you how good these candles are and how in depth the layers of the scents in these candles are. It's pretty wild. You can't you know, really imagine putting just a certain feeling and experience into a candle and this company really makes it feel like fall and Halloween. So I had the Pumpkin Head, Sleepy Hollow, All Hollows Eve, and Witch's Broom. I did a review on these candles so I will link that up above. Over here, I've done a lot of candle, not reviews because I'm not a reviewer, but a kind of candle hauls and then in my empties I do my reviews. So here I have a Goose Creek Candy Corn. I just found out about this company this year. I really did enjoy that and then we have one of my favorite labels ever, Trick or Treat. Then down here I have a pumpkin patch which was really nice as well and I love the big juicy labels on there. So here we have Ryan's Best Dog Dad Award candle that he got this year at his Christmas party. Down here I have some Midnight Daydream Wax Company candles and I really love these candles. These candles are soy candles so they're supposed to be better for you. I have the Pumpkin Patch here, Fall Front Porridge, and then Autumnal Equinox. And over here we have another Capri Blue a Volcano candle from Anthropology. That one's halfway used up. I have a Nature's Wick. This candle is super cool because if you've never heard of wood wick candles, instead of the like little almost like cotton looking wick, this is wood and it makes a crackling sound so if you don't have a fire place in your house, you can kind of get that same ambiance and feel from the Woodwick candles. And then down here, I have a Yankee candle that I got for Christmas. And then this is the, I think this is a cider candle from Anthropology. Sp yeah, Spice Cider. I was gifted this. A lot of candles I get gifted, like this one, the Copper Clove that I got from Christmas this year. Then I have the Diptyque, which is the fanciest, schmanciest candle company ever. And I will never probably buy these candles. I was gifted this and it smells really good, but I just love the aesthetic and I love putting them on books and just decorating with this candle. And it smells pretty strong where you don't have to burn it. If it's sitting there, you kind of can smell it as you pass by. Then here is one of my other favorite anthropology candles. It's the Whipped Cream and Pear. This smells divine, you guys. This one is amazing. They have a whole line like this and there's so many different scents and I love the way they smell. They are pricey, so I just like sparingly, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that could have been crisis. And then Yankee Candle, I have a Merry Mojito that I got from Christmas. And I have another one back here, which is a Pomegranate Cosmo. So that is it for all the like other brands that are not Bath & Body Works candles. And now let's get into all the Bath & Body Works candles. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about the single wick candles that I have here. They're either gifted to me or I got them for free because I'm a rewards member at Bath & Body Works. So we have the Hot Cocoa and Cream, which legit smells like hot cocoa. It's amazing. I love that during the winter time and Christmas. The Vanilla Bean Noel, which I was gifted. I'm really curious to see how the single wick throws. And when I mean throw, that just means how it fills a room. Candle talk. Then I also like wanted to talk about when it smells like differently on cold. On cold is when you open up the jar and smell the wax. It can vary when you burn the candle. The scent can change. So you never know if it's gonna smell the same as it is when you just open up the jar. And I have a berry waffle cone. I'm obsessed with this candle. This one smells amazing. I also really love this aromatherapy love candle, rose and vanilla. This is like my spa candle. I love lighting this up when I'm, you know, trying to treat myself at night. And then champagne toast is like my go-to. I'll be lighting this up on New Year's Eve. I love this candle for like a fun, girly, festive occasion. I mean, New Year's Eve's not really girly, but you know what I mean. All right, so now for the three wick candles, which I prefer. I love the big three wick candles. I have a vanilla bean marshmallow. I'm a huge marshmallow fan. I love any kind of candle that's marshmallow. Then we have a black cherry Malo, which is really nice deep cherry. This is Ryan's favorite candle, a cinnamon Irish cream. Then we have fresh balsam. I like this. I don't know. I'm not going to probably repurchase it because my, my cousin makes a really good balsam candle. So 
I probably am going to toss this because it looks like it's done, but I just wanted to show you. And this is old packaging. I love the Camp Winter line. So a lot of packagings, they like don't redo. For example, like this hot cocoa and cream looks different from this label. So if you kind of like love the way a label looks, you probably want to snatch it up then because they're not going to reproduce it. Then we have a warm apple pie and a cherry mocha, which I wish I got more cherry mocha at the candle day sale because I love cherry mocha. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Gooey Marshmallow is one of my all-time favorite candles ever, and they did not bring it back this year. So I'm so glad I stocked up and got three, and I will only burn it very little throughout the many years because that's all I got. And I'm very sad because I love Gooey Marshmallow. Then I have two Pumpkin Peanut Brindles, which is another candle I really wish I added more of because I'm so nervous that they're not going to bring it back. But they did bring it back from last year, so maybe they'll keep it. Fingers crossed. Then I have a peppermint marshmallow chocolate lava cake. This one Ryan really loves and I should have got more of. We have a hot cocoa and cream like I talked about. Winter White Woods. I love the label on that. That's very Christmassy to me. A pumpkin pie, which I didn't love and I'm like debating. Even though I burned halfway through if I should exchange it. I don't know. I feel bad when I do that. Then we have a fall farmhouse, which I really like. That's a nice in-between Thanksgiving and Christmas time scent. It's just super cozy. I got this one, Ski Lodge. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one yet. I might exchange it. And then we have the classic Evergreen, which just literally fills your house. I just realized I prefer when people show me what they're talking about with them in the video. So... If that's what I like to see, I want to provide that to you. So I have two salted pretzel milkshake candles. Lighting sucks. Should I bring out my light? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, is this better? I think so. Not too overexposed. All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, two salted pretzel milkshakes. I do have a tree farm. Didn't actually love this candle after I burned it too long. It smells better on cold than it does burning. I know, crazy, because so many people who are fans of Bath & Body Works love that candle and like sold it out super quickly. I have a crushed candy cane in the sweater packaging, which I'm obsessed with. I love that packaging. That's the gooey marshmallow packaging that I just showed you. And then I have two perfect Christmas. I have two welcome home candles, which I don't think they're gonna be bringing back. One bourbon maple candle. They bring this back every year. It's so good. It smells like you're walking into an old like colonial home and the wood is super old. Love it. Ice Vanilla Woods. I got this one a while ago. I don't think I'd repurchase it. Yeah, it's a little too strong and perfumey, but it's nice to have in my collection for every now and then if, I, if I'm feeling that vibe. I have my favorite, favorite candle of all time. I have three marshmallow firesides. So this is a good example of how they change the labeling each year. So if you like a certain label, it's not going to stick around. So I would definitely pick one up and not wait. So I love this candle so much. It's one of my favorite candles. They bring this back every single year. I'd be shocked if they didn't. So I don't have it like in super stock, but I do have three just in case because I burn it a lot during winter time. That's pretty much the only candle I really burn in the winter time. I can't do this because I feel like I'm going to back into my candles and they're all going to collapse. So we're going to go back to the other style of filming. We have two pumpkin apple candles right here. Different packaging. I feel like this is very Bath and Body Works the way they did this packaging that one year. And it reminds me of just like the OG Bath and Body Works. I have three summer boardwalk candles. This one comes out in summer, but everyone agrees that this is definitely a fall scented candle. Then down here, I have white pumpkin and two vampire bloods, which this is my favorite Halloween candle that they release. They don't release many, but this one is done. I should toss this one, but you can see the different packagings, which is nice. And for people who are nostalgic in packaging, there you go. I have two Signer Lanes. This is one of my favorite candles. I can't tell if I like that one more than Caramel Apple sometimes. People swear that Cider Lane's better, but I don't know. Sorry for my gross fingers. Please don't judge me. Next candle scent is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I love this scent year round. This could be burning all the time. I love this candle. It's not very fall to me. I loved this label. I think it's just so cute. Kind of like shabby chic looking and then they had these tin lids. And then down here I have a harvest gathering. This reminded me of Pottery Barn the way the label is. And then a banana bunt cake which smells great and makes you think that a banana bunt cake is in the oven when it's not. So it's kind of taunting. Then I have a leaves candle. Another one of my faves. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Gooey caramel. 
um, caramel apple. I have a lot of these because I thought they were going to get rid of it because they did it online only. And usually when you see that, that kind of hints like it's not that popular. So I got a caramel apple here and then I have three more down here from an old label, which this variation was so much stronger than this one in my opinion. So I have four total in caramel apple. So we're moving more into my summertime candles. I don't really burn candles that much in spring and summertime. I try to just like pull down my windows and enjoy the fresh air and smell that but sometimes I do really want to smell a candle so these are the candles that I would burn this is vanilla cola candy I really like this one I don't think I'd repurchase it but it kind of smells like I don't know it reminds me of like if I were a kid back in the day during the summertime like riding my bike popping some cola I don't drink coca-cola at all but I guess like this is what it brings to my mind I don't know Okay, so then over here is the like sought after. Everyone went crazy over this candle. Strawberry pound cake. I'm going to exchange one for the new packaging because I think it's just so much cuter than this packaging. But everyone was obsessed with this and like sold this out. And if you found this, this was like a rare find. So I did get two. One I happened to get super lucky on. And then the other one I found at Candle Day. Down here, I have blueberry maple pancakes. Eh, it's okay. Not my favorite. Sugared blueberry donut. I'm actually going to exchange this. I don't love this scent as much as I do the three blueberry pies. I thought I had so many more blueberry pies, and I don't, which I'm kind of bummed about because this candle is amazing. So I'm probably going to go and exchange that for a blueberry pie candle because it is coming back out in spring. And then over here, I have a Georgia peach. This is basically almost burned down, so I'm going to depot it after I'm done with it because I just love the way this label looks, and I think it'd be nice to put out during the springtime on a table. And then, honestly, like if I find a Georgia peach that I want, I can just put it back into this packaging if I don't the, like the other label. Then I have a peach cobbler, which I didn't enjoy the scent. Not many people did. I have like these two 4th of July candles that are kind of cherry smelling. This one is a crazy candle. It literally smells like pizza roll-ups or you're in a pizzeria. Pretty crazy. I don't think I need many of these, but it's cool to have one to kind of throw people off and they're like, what the heck is going on? This one smells exactly like hot fudge. If you love chocolate, I'm not a huge chocolate candle fan, but this one is really nice. Then I wish I stocked up more on the ice cream shop candle. This one's like a really nice almondy scent. It's not like something you would smell when you'd walk into an ice cream shop. So I think the name is kind of off, but I do really enjoy the scent. Now my favorite candle that I think I have the most of is my pink petal tea cake because this is the candle that I would burn every time I would do wedding planning and it just reminds me of my wedding. And this candle I actually heard when it came out this year that had it came out for like a really long time. So I got nervous and I stocked up and I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I had six, but that was back at home when it was my wedding. I brought it because I wanted to smell it while I was doing my makeup for my wedding. Then I have an age old food cake. This is good, but it's kind of light on throw. And then the perfect summer, it smells literally like summer in a jar. It's crazy. I don't need to burn this. I could just open it and just enjoy the scent of summer in this jar. Now we're finishing up here. We have one, two, three key lime pies. Ryan and I both really enjoyed this candle. So if Ryan and I both love a candle, I want to just stock up on it. Then we have one, two, three saltwater taffies. I really like that. It kind of smells like a pink starburst to me. And then we have three berry waffle cones. Again, I thought I had more of these because I'm obsessed. But I think this comes out every year. So yeah, that is basically it for all of my candles. And let's count how many I have. I've never done that before. Oh man, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, f
90, oh my gosh, it's gonna be 100. 90, right? I said 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. <laughs> 101, 102, 103, 104, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 116 candles. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I didn't even think it was that much. That's a lot of freaking candles. Whatever, it makes me happy. Okay, let's put them away now because it's starting to look crazy in here. Okay, so this is the shelf that I have that has all of my candles on here. And I kind of organize from spring, summer to fall to winter. And I mean, it goes kind of deep back in there, but I try to keep like things that I will utilize the most, except for I won't utilize that one as much. But anyway, so I try to like organize it that way so that I don't have to like move things around that much. But since fall is almost over, I don't have to worry about that, but for the winter, I did bring forward the marshmallow fireside because I'm going to be using that a lot during the January, February month. And I'm gonna put the rest of the candles like up on this space right here and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so that is what my shelf looks like when all of my 116 apparently candles are in there. I like when the labels are facing forward. I like it to look super organized. I cannot stand these jars because they're very hard to stack. So that's why I do like Bath and Body Works because they're easy to stack. That's my store, as Ryan calls it. He loves to go into the store and pick out his candle. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see hauls. It lets me know if you guys are interested in these kinds of videos. I love doing them. I also do vlogs and so many other things. So don't forget to subscribe and keep up with me. It really means a lot to me when you guys subscribe because it just shows me that you're interested in what I'm doing and you support my editing and all the videos that I post. So thank you guys so much for anyone who's already subscribed, who comments, who likes, who's super just like into my videos I I've read so many kind comments uh, during the vlogmas season when I was vlogging every single day which wow I give it to the people who can just crank those out but I really appreciate everyone who leaves a comment it means it means so much to me and I appreciate you as much as you guys appreciate my videos so I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for keeping up and I will see you tomorrow yeah I'm posting a video no no two days Two days, I think. See you in two days. Bye.